Well, can you save on your next hotel booking by using VPN and changing your location? In this video, we'll find out exactly if it's true or not. Well, recently I've noticed there's a, been quite a large increase of videos like this one. Did you know that whenever you're making an online purchase, you're seeing higher prices just because you're located in a medium or high income region? Fortunately, you can easily trick the website and change your digital location to a lower income region and immediately get 15-25% to lower prices on the same products in the same store. By using Atlas VPN, you will be able to do that in just one click and save a lot of money each year. Which clearly claims that you can use VPN to change your location and get cheaper hotel rates on Booking.com or Agoda or any other website. Well, in this video, I'm gonna go through a scientific process and find out if it's actually true or not. First, let me explain what VPN actually is. In most cases, it's used to secure your connection on unsecure networks. But in the case of this uh, video, we'll use VPN to change our location. So when we're accessing a website, uh, the website will think we're in different location that we actually are. So if I'm sitting in London, and I connect my VPN to, let's say, New York. When I access a website, website will think that I'm actually in New York and not in London. And there's been claims, and as you've seen in the video, that by using VPN and connecting to websites from cheaper countries, uh, you can get cheaper rates on hotels and potentially flights, etc. There are different claims on the internet. So in this video, what I'll do is I'll use uh, VPN. I have a Norton VPN and which I'll be using for this experiment. I will also do uh, booking prices from three locations in three different areas. So what I'll do is I'll do a price check from UK and I'll do one hotel in London, one hotel in Maldives and one hotel in Phuket. Then I'll do the same uh, from Turkey, I'll change my VPN connection to Turkey and I'll do the same pricing from Turkey and then I'll do the same pricing from South Africa. So we've got UK, which is a relatively expensive country. Then we have Turkey, which is all over the place right now with the economic situation going quite crazy, but let's say mid-range country. And then we'll do it from South Africa, which is considered so, uh, on the cheaper side of the scale. And we'll find out if the prices for the hotels are different or not. And then at the end of the video, I'll also quickly give you some tips and ideas on how you actually can get the cheaper prices on hotels uh, without using VPN. In addition, I will be using a browser incognito option, which should give me a privacy mode and no cookie settings. So the website will not remember my previous searches and will be unbiased on to consecutive searches. So let's get started. I'll jump onto the PC. I'll fast forward this, but I will record every single action and then we'll see the, what the result is. So as you can see, booking from different locations doesn't mean you're gonna get cheaper prices. And if we go back to the original video that I've shown at the beginning, right? We can clearly see the price is different. And we've seen it, if you noticed on some of the bookings that I did, the price was different. However, here is where the trick comes in. Some countries requires you to put the price plus taxes separately. And some countries allow you to put the total price together when uh, the listings come up on the website. So if you look at the, the video and we see that the top price is more expensive than the bottom price, but then there is a small note saying plus tax. And if we add those two numbers together, we come up to the same price. So clearly using VPN to book something cheaper, probably not the best idea. So it's really not worth investing in VPN probably just to, you know, get cheaper rates on something because I don't think you will get it. On the other hand, you can get cheaper booking prices, uh, but they don't come up quite often and there are a few tricks you can do to actually find them. Number one is join the membership programs. So uh, with rise of, you know, booking websites and agents, etc., hotels came about and they 
now offering prices on their websites which are very similar to things like booking.com and Agoda and the rest of them. But what they do is if you sign up for their membership programs, which is generally free, uh, you do get additional discount. So for example, if you sign up to, let's say Anantara or Global Discovery Program, right? They have a lot of hotels, which Anantara are part of them. As a member, you generally get sort of 10 to 15% discount. Uh, furthermore, occasionally, uh, booking sites do come up with discounts, but that normally happens in off-season uh, time and when they can't sell enough rooms. So when they pre-book the rooms for resale, uh, they get cheap, obviously cheaper rates because they book in bulk and then they re resell it. And if they can't resell it in time, they will drop the prices. But that generally means last minute booking or something in off-season. So in reality, that's the only sort of real way to find good deals on the hotels or get some sort of discount. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Happy and safe travel, everyone, and we'll see you again soon.